He's a great public speaker. He's a co-author of the book, Cutting Edge Sales. And the perfect person to talk about how to sharpen knives, give it up for John Israel. Alright, 
So uh, we got the sharper here, we got the block, we got the, the safety rod here, you gotta make sure that it's, uh, oh, there you go. Oh, mm, mm, there we go. All right, so uh, then we've got uh, two different sets of sharpening stones, right? There is the, uh, there are the, the dark gray ones. Uh, the dark gray ones are, they're made of ceramic. Both of these stones are made of ceramic, uh, which is a, a, a harder material, so it actually, it pulls the metal off of the edge. So what you wanna do is to, I'm gonna teach you guys how to sharpen a double the edge, or I'm sorry, a straight edge first, and then a double the edge. The way that you want to set this up is you take the corners, and you put them, the corners facing each other. See that? Okay, so the corners facing each other, and then what you do is you make sure your safety rod is in there, and then you take the, uh, uh, the straight edge knives, and the way you want to do these, you want to make sure, it's, it's really easy to sharpen a straight edge knife, um, because the way that they design the angle that the sharpening stones are at, is that all you need to do is keep the, keep the knife, Perpendicular of the wood. All right. Everyone say the word perpendicular. Perpendicular. All right. Go like a geometry class. All right. So perpendicular. Uh, so you keep it uh, where it basically comes down to the T. All right. So like here's the flat part. Here's the, where you want the knife to be. Just coming flat like that. So you just take the knife and you can go down like this. I like to pull away. So you just take the knife and you lean it against the metal or against the uh, stone and you pull back. And you pull back. And you pull back, you pull back. And you go back and forth. Uh, you want to do it as many times as necessary to get it sharp. There's a couple ways you can test if a knife is sharp when you get to a customer's house, is you can do the paper test. All right? Basically what you do is you take a piece of paper, all right, like this, and put the knife to the paper. Oh. All right, so that means it's, it's pretty sharp. So this one, this one's actually uh, out of uh, my sales vendor sample case. It should be pretty sharp. Uh, but when it comes down, when you see a customer's knife, literally it's like you're cutting with the back part. It's just like, like sometimes it'll be like that because they've been using them, first off, for the wrong things. So uh, what you want to do is you keep the flat part, uh, you keep the sharp part towards the wood, you pull back, back and forth, and you want to come back at an angle towards yourself, okay? Come back like this. And every time you're pulling against uh, the, the stone, uh, what you're doing is you're pulling the metal back into alignment, okay, so that you can get a really nice clean cut. So that's how, you, that's, that's how you sharpen these straight edge blades. But you always want to start with the gray stones first. The gray stones are important because these get a really rough grind on the edge, and then eventually what you can do is uh, you'll switch over to the, uh, the white or the, the gray stones um, to smooth them out. So um, this is how you sharpen them. You just go back and forth. And that's about it. And so you want to make sure, again, the biggest reason why a, why a knife might not be sharpened correctly or why it might be duller if it's not used done the right way is simply because the angle uh, is not correct. So if the angle is, if you're sharpening the knife and it's tilted a little bit this way, then you're going to be pulling the edge off. And if it's a little bit too shallow, then you're not going to be getting any edge on it. You're just like rubbing it on the metal. You also want to make sure that when you're sharpening, that you do keep it perpendicular to the wood. If you have it tilted to the side a little bit, you can scratch your customer's knives. I remember I had to rebuy a customer's spatula sweater because I didn't know what I was doing when I first sharpened some knives and I was just like rubbing it on the steel, on the stone, and just like it came back and it was just like, it looked like a, you know, the beats cutter was like a little kind of a matte finish, it looked like the beats cutter, it just like scratched everywhere. So like, my bad. All right, so, uh, so anyways, but you wanna make sure that you do sharpen them correctly. I would initially take your sample kit knives and practice them over and over. Practice them in front of an FSM, practice in front of your manager so they can see you're actually doing it correctly, okay? Um, so. That's how you sharpen straight edge blades. Then what I'll do is I'll take the, uh, the gray stones out after I've done those ones, and I'll switch over to the white ones. All right? Well, these used to be white, now they're a little gray. Um, they can sharpen, they can use a lot. And then I'll just use it really lightly uh, with the white stones, the gray, white gray stones, and just kind of lightly pull back. And all that does is really hone, it like, just really smooths out the edge to get really clean cuts as a customer's using it. So that's how you sharpen straight edge blade. All right, then when it comes down to the double the edges, all right, the double the edges are a little bit different, and it uses stones a little differently as well. All right, so when you want to sharpen double the edge, I predominantly use the white or white, the light gray stones. And what you do is you keep the flat slide. There's a, if you notice on the cut cone, if you guys look at it, it's actually only ground from one direction. All right, it's only ground from one side. So the way that we actually sharpen a cut of a knife is uh, the way that the double D is sharp to dull is the edge is flat even like this and the double D edge is starts to roll over. It kind of starts to curl over a little bit like that. 
Okay, so it's like a curl over. So what we do in a sharpener is on the flat side of the stem, we actually are just kind of scraping it along there and we're getting that edge to be smoothed off and the, the metal shavings will either just come right off or it's just smoothing it back, it's just realigning the edge so it's flat and even. That's what gets the majority of the sharpening done on a double D edge knife. Now, so that's how we do one side of it. And then we also have the other stem here which has these grooves in it. And these grooves are designed specifically to fit within the double D edge. And so the way you do that is you, we set it up as you have the, the double D edge section where there's the grooves in it. And you have that, uh, you'll notice if you look at a, a cut the knife that it's only ground on one side. That's the side that you want to fit that fits right between all the double D edge teeth. And all you do is uh, I like to set it up right from the very back. And I'll just go up and down. And again, you want to keep it perpendicular with the wood. Just go up and down. 